Hi, everybody. Um, how are you today on this very sunny Sunday morning here, even though it's freezing in the Philadelphia area? Um, I'm going to be filming quite a few videos today simply because um, I work during the week. So it's really hard for me to try to do videos during the week. So usually Sunday is the day where I film a couple and like, that's it. So here I am from our guest room upstairs where I put my makeup on and I wanted to talk to you about the subject of wigs today. This is a very dear part of my life because I do, um, I'm not going to say I suffer from hair loss, because at this point in my life, it isn't suffering. I'm having a blast with wigs. So I will just say I have hair loss. I think that's a really positive way hmm, of saying it, right? I mean, I'm not suffering because look at this head of hair. It looks pretty nice. But anyway, what I wanted to um, talk about is as I belong to a few wig support groups, both um, like on Facebook and online, I noticed that it's a good place for women who have just started to wear wigs to kind of come for information and get answers to any questions that they may have. One thing that I think is really important is that you need to research and you need to study the wigs that you like. You also need to be honest with yourself in your face shape. Do you have wrinkles? Is there any part of your face that you kind of don't want to enhance? Like for me, I try not to enhance the bottom part of my face because it's not my best feature but even though my eyes are crossed I like to enhance my eyes but anyway getting back to wigs like you have to be honest with yourself in what you're looking for the texture of your bio hair blah 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 yada 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 that's all taken care of on many of these support groups. But what I've been noticing a lot lately are a large group of wig scammers and bogus wig sites that are all through the internet. And people need to know when you are ordering a wig online, you must go through a reputable wig site. Now I am going to tick off the websites that I use and that many other women use and that they are reputable. Lately, what I have been seeing as well as many other people have been seeing are these sites from China. Hey, uh, you know what? Maybe I'm being culturally inappropriate but they're being inappropriate and they're taking advantage of women who have hair loss, okay? And these sites are all based in China. They have photographs of celebrities and they basically use these photographs of celebrities to advertise <coughs> good quality wigs that they have for like under $30, which is, pardon my saucy language, but it's bullshit, okay? It is total, total bullshit. In the first place, never trust a wig site that uses photographs of celebrities to advertise wigs because what you're getting is garbage. Okay, you're not going to look like the celebrity, not now, not ever, never. And to add insult to injury, 
these websites, these bogus wig websites also use stock photos from name brand wig companies, such as Gabor Wigs, Raquel Welch Wigs, Aesthetica Designs, like you name the company, they advertise it. I saw one Gabor wig, Sweet Talk, and that is a wig that's on my wish list, trust me. I saw Sweet Talk on one of these bogus Chinese um, websites for wigs that was advertised as 1999. Now, this is a wig. Gabor wigs are made very well. And Sweet Talk is a wig that retails for over $200. And you can get her on sale from other reputable sites. But for the price of $19.99, honey, you ain't getting Sweet Talk. You're getting, um, you're getting a dirty mouthful, okay? That's what you're getting. Um, I did get in touch with Gabor Wigs to tell them about these bogus Gabor, like th these stock cards that they're using in their photographs. And here's the sad thing. Gabor Wigs sent me a reply saying that this sort of thing has become so wildly used over the internet that they simply cannot police these sites. Instead, they depend on the women of the wig community to let others know about this. I have mixed feelings on this because if I owned a wig company, I would be very thankful that people are noticing this. But as a wig company per se, that is reputable, I would have my attorneys out in a minute and I would try to put an end to these bogus sites. But that's just me. Another thing that they do is they take photographs of women who post on Instagram and on YouTube and they use those photographs to advertise wigs on their site. Now, you can all rest assured, you will never see a photograph of me on those sites because my photographs aren't that great and my video quality sucks. But there is a woman from Wear Wigs With Me. Her name is Stacy, and her freaking photographs are like, they're great. I mean, I, I don't think she's using an iPhone for her photographs. And her photo in various wigs is displayed all over these like bogus wig sites. The same with Taz. If you're familiar with Taz's wig closet, she's like one of my favorite wig reviewers because she's so stinking adorable. I can't help it. I love her. But um, her photograph is displayed on those sites too. I mean, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. And you know what? It's thievery. And it's lying. And I understand that these days, due to certain politicians, lying seems to be acceptable. But I'm sorry, with the value system that I grew up with, lying is not acceptable. In fact, being an Irish Catholic, lying is a sin. Okay? Uh, let's go with the value system. Lying is bad. And so is thievery. Now, there's a difference between a dupe. I know that various wig companies can kind of duplicate one company's wig with a little tweaks and what have you, and that's fine. But there's a difference between that and lying, okay? As long as something's tweaked, it's your own. But these wig, these bogus wig companies that are literally using Raquel Welch wigs and saying that this wig is 1999, uh, it, it's wrong on so many levels. And the other thing that's really sad is that women have allowed themselves to be taken advantage of. 
if you see a wig that isn't a budget wig or a known affordable wig that looks too good to be true, guess what? It is too good to be true. Now, I'm going to read off a listing of the wig companies that are reputable. There's one that I've never, no, two that I've never ordered wigs from, but I do know that they are reputable from hearing other women. So here we go. Wigs.com. Wigs.com is a very reputable wig vendor online. Um, Voguewigs.com. Yet another one. Patty's Pearls. Dot com. Now, I have never had the opportunity to order from Patty, but she has a YouTube channel. She gives great advice, and I've heard really great things about her online shop. So that's another one. Wilshirewigs.com. I have only used this wig company once, and I had absolutely no problem at all. Customer service was great. The delivery was spot on. Like everything was fine. So I would definitely put Wilshire Wigs down as a reputable company. Acewigs.com. That's Ace, A-C-E, Wigs.com. Um, I've heard some hit or miss stories with this company. But in all honesty, I have ordered many wigs from them and I have never, ever, ever had an issue. So I suggest that if you are looking for a good price because they do have good discounts, check out Ace Wigs. Namebrandwigs.com. This company is great. Their customer service is stellar. Um, they've got a great selection. They also have um, two sub two sub selections of markdowns. One section is their inventory markdown, where you can get a really good deal on wigs. The other is like this sort of final sale markdown, um, where you can get like seventy percent off the wigs. Now, the 70% off wigs, a lot of them are kind of granny looking and outdated, but you know what? There is a wig for everybody out there. So it's still definitely worth checking into. But Name Brand Wigs is a very, very good company. Sisterwigs.com. I, like Heather from Sisterwigs.com, has great. YouTube videos if you want to research wigs. She also has color spotlights, which I think are invaluable because when you do go on to these websites, the little photographs that they have of the shades of the wigs are sometimes like so ridiculous that you really can't tell until you get the wig home and open it out of the box. But Heather has started a series of YouTube videos where she does color spotlights. And honestly, if you are ever unsure about a shade, head to her, head to her videos. But her wig company, sisterwigs.com, they have very good um, service. The selection is great. She has revamped things because I know that they were having some issues in the past. But that's all clear now. And um, her, like the Sister Wigs discounted sub site is wigoutlets.com. I've gotten some really good buys on this site. She has recently reopened it. I'm going to be doing a review later on today of a wig that I just received from that site. And the price point is great for the wigs at a discounted price. Now, speaking of discounted wig sites, there's also 
wigoutlet.com. That is the sister site of wigs.com. Now, you got to be careful when you're checking out wigoutlet.com on the internet because some of these Chinese sites will have you believe that they are wigoutlet.com when they're not. So you really, really have to be careful. The other um, wig outlet that I like that is very reputable is bestwigoutlet.com. Another one that's really good. Also, wowwigs.com has a very good um, discounted price, if you will. Now. I also buy budget or affordable wigs. Um, I find that having um, a variety of higher end wigs as well as discount wigs give my good wigs a longer lifetime. Um, I love the budget wigs. Bobby Boss is probably my favorite budget wig company. Ever. I also love Three Trust Equal. It's a wig and um, Model Model. So they're really good. They're really good wig manufacturers. Now, for those wigs, I will tell you the reputable companies that I use that I think are fabulous. We have Divatrust.com, which has a great selection. Divatrust.com even sells the swig Jameson. Yes, I couldn't. I, I I almost died when I saw that. I, I was like, oh my God, this is good to know that Divatrust sells Jameson. Glamortrust.com, Sam'sBeauty.com. One of my new favorites, Go Beauty New York. I freaking love this site because their customer service is crazy good. HairSoFlyShop.com, another great one. And WigTypes.com. Now, I will write all of these um, wig vendors down below in the description box. So in case you missed what I said, you'll be able to use what I'm writing down for reference, okay? Um, I don't like thievery of any kind. I, and the internet is rife with thievery, um, down to men who try to take the money of vulnerable women, down to companies who pontificate that they can grow hair when they're not growing anything more than possibly peach fuzz. And naturally, wig, wig companies. Man, when you take when you take advantage of a woman, that's it. I have no use for you. Uh, and trust me, I can go on about this in uh, with politics, but I'm not. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Um, I do not like when women are taken advantage of. And these horrible, bogus wig, wig sites are disgusting and they should be shut down, but yet they're not. So that's it. I am going to go. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, it's a subject that's near and dear to my heart as a wig wearer, and I don't want to see anybody being taken advantage of. So, so long, and I will see you later. If you do like this, thumbs up. If you don't like it, um, thumbs down. And, you know, like, I feel like, uh, I feel weird when I ask people to subscribe, because obviously, if you like what I'm saying, you're going to subscribe. And if you think I'm annoying, you're not. So, you know, it's nice if you subscribe, but if you don't, I get it. So. Take care and I will see you later. Bye.